message that I want to say is as follows. The Spirit of God is saying we must pray for a city in Nigeria which is called Abuja. It is their capital city. Why? Because I saw in a vision a cell of terrorists plan an attack at a public facility. At a public facility. God says by his spirit that this planned attack can be thwarted through prayer and fasting for Abuja and the whole of Nigeria. So we need to, to select days between now and um, Thursday next week. You can select one or two days or even three days and we fast for Nigeria. Hallelujah. Don't wait until you are in Abuja for you to see the need to pray for people who are in Abuja. As I was telling you, in May I was in Nigeria, I was in Lagos. So just imagine if the terrorists were where I was and they decide to do their activities. I would be dead. Hallelujah. So we need the Spirit of God to intervene in Nigeria. Some people, they think these negative things which I see are things which I wish to see. Hallelujah. I, I can't explain to you how I see these things. But what I know is that it is God who shows me these things. It's not like, because some people they will think maybe I go into a prayer telling myself that I want to see something. The time that I take praying, it is far much longer than the few things that I see. Most of the time when I'm praying, I don't actually see anything. I'll be just fellowshipping with God. There is a time when I sense the presence of the Spirit of God, and I don't see anything. Hallelujah. I don't see anything, I don't hear anything. I just sense that God is around. I just fellowship with His presence. Hallelujah. It's not that when I'm in prayer, I'm always seeing things. Even though for me, I've discovered from what other people share with me that for me it's more frequent than in other people. But the reason why it is more frequent in my life than in other people, it is because of my calling. Hallelujah. There are some people who spend more time than myself in prayer. You know that. There are some people who pray five hours, almost five hours every day. I know of people who wake up every day at around 12 o'clock and they pray to around 2 in the morning. I know of people who do that consistently in their life. They, they may not do it every day. But I know of people who wake up early morning at around 12. If they sleep late, they wake up at around 4 a.m. I used to have such colleagues in, when I was in Gwand. Yes. There is a brother who would be waking us up at around 2 a.m., a married brother. And I don't know how he did it. It is an intercessor. I never heard him say, I saw this or I saw that. Obviously, he saw something. But for one reason or another, he didn't share it publicly, like, like what I do. Hallelujah. So the Spirit of God says we must pray for a city in Nigeria called Abuja. It's their capital city. Why? Because I saw in a vision a cell of terrorists plan an attack at a public facility. God says by his spirit that this planned attack can be thwarted through prayer and fasting for Abuja and the whole of Nigeria. So if Nigerians are hearing me, I know Nigerians are very spiritual. I'm not saying other people are not spiritual, but I was with Nigerians in May. Those people, they are very serious. I mean, if you see people wake up at 2 a.m. to do intercession for a church service, which starts at around 8, they are serious. Hallelujah. I don't know whether it takes place in any church in Zimbabwe. That people wake up at 2 a.m. to intercede for a church service, which starts at 8 a.m. If it happens in churches around this country, I'm here to see it. I've, I've visited many churches. So if Nigeria, my Nigerian brothers and sisters are hearing me, I am urging them to choose between now and Friday next week, at least two to three days, 
in which they will fast so that the security forces they discover this terror plot which is being planned against a public facility in Abuja, their captain city. Then the next message is as follows. The Spirit of God also showed me that a sophisticated criminal group is planning to abduct a prominent personality for a ransom again, again in that particular nation. I was seeing news on television. It was as if I was watching television in a vision. And I was seeing news about someone who is very prominent who had been abducted, who had been kidnapped. Hallelujah. So there is a sophisticated group of criminals who are planning to kidnap someone who, who has got a lot of wealth, someone who has got a status in society and who has got a lot of wealth. And they are planning to do it so that they get ransom money. Hallelujah. 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 And then in another vision, still pertaining to Nigeria, in a dream or a vision, I saw myself with thousands of congregants of a well-known Christian ministry at their campus, praying for a number of things, among which we were praying for a prominent person to be released from captivity. So it's, it's the same message. So we must watch and pray so that God intervenes in these issues. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, let us watch and pray. Say, let us watch and pray.